Come here. Come here, sweet pea. Come here. Sit. Stay. Stay. Sit. Sweet pea. Good girl. Good girl, sweet pea. Shake paw. Yeah. Good girl, sweet pea. Down. Good girl, sweet pea. Can you roll over? Ah, where you going? Sweet pea. Where you going? Look, look, look what I found. Look what I found. Yay. Ready? Go get it. Give it here. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball, sweet pea. Give me the ball. Give me the ball, sweet pea. Come on. Give me the ball. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Give it here. Give it here. Oh, shake paw. Shake paw. Give it here. Can I have the ball? Give it here. Give it to me, sweet pea. I'm gonna get you, sweet pea. Ooh. Give it here. Aha. Are you scary? I didn't mean to scare you. I didn't mean to scare you, sweet pea. Sweet pea's a sweet pea. Sweet pea's a sweet pea. Here you go. You ready? Go get it. Good girl, sweet pea. Yay. That's the sweet pea. We on the sweet pea show. The sweet pea sweetie show. Yeah. That's my sweet pea. Give me the ball. Can I have the ball? I guess I have to get it myself. I have to get it myself. It's all good. All right, three peas on the belt line, the Atlanta belt line. Here's some artwork here. Um, there was a sign that said what it was, but I know it has something to do with women and being empowered. And I saw people last week, and they were sitting up under this wonderful, I'll call it tent. I think each time they sit up under the tent. Oh, yeah, the chuck the ball. What's it called? It's called, yeah, check it. Let me check it. Okay, there she goes. Um, each, each, um, I think each time they sit up under the tent. Good girl, sweet pea. Yes, each time they sit up under the tent, they add more wonderful um, pieces of cloth. I especially like this one. Um, I think it says some things. Let's see. I'm not sure what that says. Hmm. In your life, I see everything that lives. Ooh. In your life, I see everything that lives. Hmm. I guess I could have. If they come next time, I'll ask, can I sit with them? Um. Yes. I think that says, recognize no method of living, only the basic materials. Yes. I like that one. I'm trying to live off of that one. Isn't it nice? It's so pretty. I didn't realize it was so pretty. I didn't get close enough. Sweet Pea's checking it out too. Oh, they have some um, the pole that holds the things together. They actually tied some beautiful fabric around it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I I enjoy um, living on the belt line. I enjoy it. It's um it's nice when they have different artists come out and um, display their wonderful things. This is a, a branch they put on there. It's so beautiful and it's like so like simple things. Like it says, you know, recognize no method, just the the basic material, and that's what it is. It always says dream big here. I always dream big. Like. I'm trying to manifest, not trying, I have manifested quite a few things, I'm manifesting bigger things, you know, they say, like, if you want to see God appear, or God in your life, working in your life, dream big, something that you 
can't do it like on your own mind. I am dreaming to get Zoe Parker and School Blues out into the world. A book that I'm working on. I'm working, found a publisher, um, but coming to uh, some issues here and I need funding now. Um, I would love to travel and share Zoe and meet people, different cultural culture, cultures, and just see how people love, you know, how they connect to each other. Because we're all connected. I would love to just tell stories, you know, people who may not be able to, or the voice can't be heard for some reason. I would like to be the one to, like, share. I'm really looking forward to traveling now. Like doing more things into the arts and more things with my God-given talents. Writing, uh, performing, you know, just living full time and moving forth into my destiny. Uh, let's see. Some more fabric. This says, Blessed Be. Um, what's that? No, I guess that's on the side. There's, there's is a, a, some bamboo they added to there. Um, that looks like a little belt. Um, the accessories to the belt. I just, I so much love this one here. The feathers, like a, like a feather. Um, and the, and the tree branch looks really cool. Um, that looks like a shirt. Yeah, it is. I like it. Pretty green. Um, <laughs> it says I will something well. Maybe it says be well or something. I don't want to like tear it apart by trying to read it. I'm sure they don't want you to touch the display. Um, something about food. Orange food maybe. Um, eat. Only organic. Why would I say orange? I think that says organic foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the different foods here. Looks like a shoe though. Um, and I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's um. I'm not sure what that is. I would think a snake. I don't think a snake would be on there. Um, maybe something that sings or makes music not sing but make music it's just wonderful i didn't realize how wonderful it was um this is like plastic maybe it's to protect um everything else more fabric a shirt um the accessory i forgot what it's called the belt buckle 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 yes um here's someone jogging i hope sweet pea does not notice and she's not noticing she just said okay got it no no Stay, good girl. Stay, stay, stay. Yes, yeah, sweet pea stayed. Good girl, good girl, good girl. You're staying. Great. Okay. Um, I'll just show you real quick. Show you real quick. Two other things here. Um, this is a wheel. All right, I know it's done by uh, women as well. I think it's so cute. I've taken so many pictures. That's another thing I love to do. Take pictures. I need to learn more of the technical side of it. I have a co-worker who sold me his camera. Oh, they put a lock on it. A lock on there. Um, I wonder what that represents, symbolizes. Um, so he's going to teach me some things as far as the, with uh, the technical side of it. He's the IT guy. Um, Resilient Circles um, by D. Patton White. Beacon Dance. Yes, I keep hearing about uh, Beacon Dance and the sculpture is um, Martha um, um, Whiteton. I guess I'm saying that right. Um, music Feel is Free. I guess I missed. Well, I did see some of the uh, performance. Um, hmm, they have another performance on October 13th. So I'll make sure I'm here for that. Mm hmm. Um, let's see, it weighs, uh, the feminine and the feminist, uh, 
She celebrates the female. It raises awareness around the many ways that women continue to marginalize in cultures around the world. Very nice. Women, we rock. We really do. Um, just need to, I guess, work a little smarter. They say don't work harder and, you know, unite. Sisterhood. That's what I'm talking about. You know, unite, help each other out. Some of us struggle. The ones that are not struggling, help the ones that are struggling who needs help or wants help. Like sometimes sisters don't want help. And sometimes we just have to learn lessons. Um, and allow God to work with us. This fabric it has. Um, mm, it's so pretty. It's little hearts. I didn't come up like really close, but it's some really awesome stuff. Like I love this print. <laughs> It reminds me of a schoolgirl. It reminds me of a schoolgirl dress. Hmm. I wonder what Zoe, the character, my character, was she like wearing that? Hmm. What did I say she likes to wear? Zoe, she likes halter tops and she likes um, the big leg jeans. You know, we call it low riders. Um, they kind of sit like low on the hips but mom won't let her wear that um, so she she uh, she's not wearing that right now she has to listen to mom I remember this this here it's um my mother she used to sew and um, this this goes on the um, end the edge the end of the garment um, like the hem oh I was in a short film called the hemline and this reminds me of that film it's about um, pretty much family bridging together, together no matter what. Um, the director is the white Al Johnson and he's gone to shop it in film festivals in 2014. So the get sweet peas, so peaceful. So early for me on a Saturday morning. It's about 8. I don't know, maybe going on 9 now. But I decided, you know, just get up. She wants. She has a bell in her crate and she rings it. Like my alarm clock is going off and she's ringing that bell. It's like, get up. And I have to take care of my sweet pea. Yep. Hi. So this is, um, it's like, these are twins. Uh, I don't know the name of this. I guess this is part of, I don't want to say who it's a part of. Because I want to get it, like, you know, I don't want to say the wrong information in case someone from the belt line sees it but this is another one and I'll walk real quickly or very quickly over and um, hmm, this one it's like cute sometimes like walk sweet peaches did she walks in but I've seen women um, they sit in a circle and I'm assuming it's all a part of uh, resilient circles, maybe. And look at this. Is it, it's so, like it says, it's so basic, but beautiful. I can see this as an earring. Wouldn't that be cute? Or a necklace. A choker type deal. Just with imagination. I don't know, it's just so beautiful to me. Isn't that beautiful? I guess I shouldn't be touching the um, art, huh? Yeah, I just think everything is so wonderful. Look how they wrapped the fabric here. And it's just like a nice, I don't like fall to be honest with you. I love the sun, I love summer. But uh, it's a nice, I think it's fall. I think that's what they said. I haven't been like watching too many different things lately. I didn't even realize I haven't been watching too many um, different media outlets but I guess you know got to stay aware however my co-workers they keep you abreast and um, maybe one did mention I think one did mention it all days I heard it somewhere do the grapevine people talk won't miss a beat listening to people who love to talk and share information some call it gossip some call it sharing um, this is so cute. I didn't realize this. I should have got closer sooner, earlier. Uh, it's so cute. It's like a little, a little girl. Like, would Zoe like this? Would Zoe? She probably would like that. 
I need to have more conversations with Zoe. Um, you know, I ask her to like talk to me even more because I want to feel her so closely and deeply that you feel her as well when she comes to life. Like young girl, she's 11 years old and uh, I hope 11 year olds or maybe nine um, or earlier, like younger and older and girls and young adults and women like everybody and not even girls boys like what you know we don't have to just like say just for girls it's for everybody it's getting me even more excited i have to bring her to life uh, my mentor <laughs> she told me something that was a little disheartening but it's in my it's in my heart the story is i hear her all the time it has to be birth. Um, so I gotta work a little harder. Um, you know, I took some vacation days, and 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 I would definitely be working mostly on Zoe and taking care of some other things. But I would love to go on a vacation and just write. Oh, like I think there are even a residence or a fellowship or a retreat. It would be wonderful. Okay, well, another dog is coming. Um, probably can't see, but that's that's a little path I love going down. Um, but I see the dog and the person coming, so I better put um, the leash on Sweet Pea. I'm um, the one that she doesn't like. Cause without it, I'm still working with walking with her, and she drags me like down the steps and everything. And I know it does, looks like a muzzle. It doesn't look very nice but I don't want her to kill me in the process or throw me down where did she go or throw me down some steps either and you know I don't think it's really too uncomfortable for her but I want us both to you know, enjoy each other she's my new my latest addition to the family and my new friend and 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 I call her sweet pea and she's so sweet and and, and little big girl and big girl and cause she's growing like weeds. What are you eating? Stop it. She just ate. Um, I know sometimes they eat greenery if their stomach is, um, the stomach is upset or something like that. And I hope her stomach isn't. But uh, yeah, um, are they closer? I don't know. Maybe they walked. Maybe, yeah, I see them now. Okay, well, I didn't mean for this to happen. We talk about all this stuff. However, um, I was just out teaching Sweet Pea to like the frisbee. And that one was like at PetSmart for 99 cents. But I'm going to go get her a, a, like another one where she can like grab it. And we can have so much fun. I'm excited. She's really my friend. She is. So the little things that can be a little grueling, I think, sometimes, you know, it's, it's worth it. And, you know, they say pets you know they're pricey and they are and they're like children which is true but we we're a good match she's so sweet like how can a puppy be so sweet her oh wow like one time i went to the vet because she had to get her um it's like a hospital too she had to get her um combo her flea and her heartworm medicine and there was a little girl in there little York yorkie was just hit by a car and i felt horrible and one little girl she was three she was so cute her name was bella and her sister was five and her name was ava and 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 they they were interested in sweet pea and they were like you know oh you know can we pet her or whatever and her mom of course was looking concerned and, and sweet pea was under me like and i was uh sitting on the chair and she was under me in the chair and and it was like she was shy too and the little girl was shy and that energy was so innocent and sweet and and she was so gentle so gentle with the little girls it was just incredible so i, I was like she can do a trick and i taught them how to you know tell her to um shake shake paw and they gave her treats um the lady um there gave them some treats to give to her and it was this oops it was so cute um but yes that's it and um have a great day peace bye-bye say bye-bye sweet pea sweet pea say bye-bye oh she's so cute look at her oh sweet pea okay okay
there she is again. I think it's focusing. Yeah, that sweet pea is so sweet. Hi, I just want to, wanted to say that she hasn't eaten this morning. Uh, I think she knows what she's doing. Okay, well, I better get her morning breakfast. All right. Sweet Pea, come here for a minute. This is the stage they performed on. There are like different acts, um, acting, dancing, I believe. They performed maybe a couple of weeks ago. It's awesome. Now it's covered with beautiful acorns. I'm going to sit here and um, spend a little time with Sweet Pea. I know she's probably hungry. But I wanted to like um, take care of a grooming issue. Um, anyway, there she is. Can you see her? There she is. All right. Bye now. Oh, yeah. See over there? That's the building. And um, that's a, a mural. Um, I think he was from France. <sighs> Maybe Italy. Um, I know that piece of corn in the... I don't know. I guess he's a puppet. It's not a joker. It can't be a joker. Ah, I wish I knew the proper name for him. But um, he said it represents his country. So I'm going to say somewhere like in South America he was from. And um, it was really cool seeing it be um, made. And then there's another one. That black and white one. That was like a afterthought. But I love it. It's so beautiful. I mean, color and black and white next to each other. It's different, but it's nice. It's still nice. Why can't everything be beautiful? I mean, everything, even if it's grungy or whatever, it has beauty to it. And sometimes things are a little rough to get you to where you need to be. So we have to look at everything in stride. Um, I'm working on that. And what's up there? Kind of looks like um, a mountain, huh? Yeah. All right. Peace for real. Sorry. Peace for real. Peace, peace.